Hello, this is Dan from Brother Billion's Blood Angels, and today we're going to be talking about magnetizing Terminators. I got here a Terminator from an Assault Squad, and I'd like to change his arms out between the Lightning Claws and the Thunder Hammers. I already went ahead and magnetized this side. What I did was, I drilled a hole on the other side of his uh, armor here with a drill. Thought supervision required for you young ones. And I bought some rare earth magnets from the warstore.com. They have a very menti very large quantity of uh, different sizes and shapes that you can choose from. I got a quarter inch and these ones are really, really, really thin, which is why I like these ones. So what I did was I drilled a hole right here. I'm going to fill it with green stuff. Let me get some green stuff. and then just put it right on in there just like that flatten it out a little bit okay now I like to put some super glue in here to help with the bond I got some super glue you can use any kind of super glue really and then take your magnet and press it right on in there We'll flatten it out with the armor so that, that way the the um, arms won't be all lopsided. So now that I got that in there, see, looks like it's pretty flush to me. I'll set that aside, let that dry. Now we got I got a thunder hammer here. Already shaved down all the um, the flash and the uh, mold lines. You can still see a little bit. I'll probably go back and touch it up some. But got a smaller drill bit here. I'm not quite sure what size this is. A pin vise. You can get this on the war store. I got this at a local hobby shop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this nail. This is a wire nail steel 16 by one and a quarter get them at your hardware store I got mine at for like a dollar and there's like I don't know like 50 or something in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the tip off like I did to this one that way when I drill it into the arm it's ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and drill my hole right in the center right there there's a mold line gap so that's perfect Drill. I gotta put some WD-40 on this. Now you want to be careful because this will go all the way through. So I just check it and see how deep it is, and then I'm gonna test it first before I even put it any glue in here. See, just like that. It's probably going to go just a little bit deeper though. This would be a lot easier if I didn't have such big fingers. I got an idea. There we go. Perfect. So you can barely see it without that focus real quick. Now, I'm going to go ahead and glue that on in. Actually, you know what? Let's test it first. And 
There you go. Uh oh. See? strong enough it's not the bond's not strong enough so what I'm probably gonna end up doing then is going to put a magnet on that side as well figured that these nails would be pretty good but it didn't work out too well I already got another arm over here made where'd it go it's got a magnet on this side did the same thing just drill the hole put some silly putty in there or some green stuff and glued it in the magnet some and um, that's a lot better. So I'm probably going to do that with the arm on the other side then. Pretty good. You see a little bit of gap on here, but that's all right. You can position the shoulder pad so it doesn't do that. But I think that looks pretty decent. You can use this technique on any other Games Workshop or other miniature model. I got myself here a... Carnifex from Tyranids, and I did the same thing with the uh, the arms here, so I can interchange the arms. And I also did it with the uh, the head as well. Got different heads that we can put on here. So anyway, I got this guy. Oops. There we go. And you can do it as well with the armor. The top part, so I did the same thing here. Magnetized. Alright, well that's it for today. Come check out my blog, brotherbillion.bloodsblogspot.com. We'll have uh, more tutorials and whatnot up there. And check out my other videos. Alright, bye.